Hey folks, I'm home. I'm just cooking supper. I'm not going to be vlogging something for you guys tonight in regards to cooking supper because it's leftovers. But it's an easy recipe enough that I don't need to show you. In my pan I've got sesame oil. I bought sesame oil finally. And here I've got boiling water with a little bit of salt. Turmeric. And some sage. Which I'm going to be putting uh, something in the next moment. I bought myself some uh, chipotle chili powder which is basically uh, sun roasted jalapenos sun dried jalapenos um, just salt and pepper on this uh, tenderized steak cut and because they're in season I decided to buy these any of you know what these are? Let me get you an example. There we go. This, my dear friends, is what we call here in New Brunswick a fiddlehead. Or what we call in French fougère. The reason why is because this, as it's growing, it's a fern. Okay, it's an actual fern plant picked by in the woods. You need to rinse them a bit. These blackened bits, don't worry about them, they're all edible. But you have to you have to boil it or steam it to your own uh, wants or needs. It's uh, quite crunchy when you try to eat it when it's half cooked. They store well during winter, meaning that you can easily um, freeze them. And uh, well, this is the time of the year that we have to pick them for about one to four weeks, depending on how fast the growing season is. We actually have a chance to pick these and pack them. This is what McCain does with these. They actually harvest them for those that are growing them, and they freeze uh, they freeze dry them in a small uh, frozen brick that you can thaw out when you need be. I've just washed this, and I'm going to be throwing it in uh, in uh, my pot of boiling water. They tend to be more or less at their own flavor. It's kind of a wild green taste. It's an acquired taste for most. But they go well with any type of meat, especially fish. Especially salmon for me anyways. But I'm going to be doing beef. I feel like having beef. I've had one of a hell of a day so I'm, I'm relaxing with it. It's gonna come back to boil. You boil it for about 15 minutes to 20 minutes and it should be enough until you find them tender enough that you, you want to be able to eat them. It'll make your, lo your water look black and scummy but that's normal. It'll actually blanch them a bit. So don't feel too preoccupied. It's not because you're gonna die but you have to be careful when you pick them. They tend to grow uh, wildly they're not poisonous, but they tend to grow wild, meaning that they will have uh, dirt and other pieces of uh, material that you'll get from the woods, possibly a bug or two. Uh, mind you, at this time of year, they're less, they're not even plagued with bugs, so that's not even an issue. Harvesters will always rinse them and use them, um, well, rinse them well before selling them to stores. Right now, we're getting them here at the Moncton Superstore. And uh, yeah, you can eat it with chicken, beef, pork, you name it, you can have it. It's t typically, traditionally eaten with uh, just the plain water, a little bit of salt to help it boil. And then you, once it's ready, you heap it in your plate or in a bowl. You take out butter, you put some butter on it. Some people like lemon instead. I like it with everything, but since I'm lactose intolerant, I don't bother with butter. I just give it flavor if I can, and it's usually with a little bit of uh, omega-3 margarine, some salt, some pepper, or even some lemon juice. For this, well, I'm going to be doing something with this, but it's not going to be sprinkled on. I'll explain why. This is nature's best lover of meat. 
Okay? It's a Haas um, avocado. Okay? It has to be somewhat firm to the touch, but yielding when you're pressing on it, so that at the very least you'll be able to uh, actually use it. When you cut through it, there's a pit about somewhere in the middle here. The size of a ball bearing about yay big. It's not edible. You can keep it to try and grow your own avocado. Uh, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking, I'm going to be slicing it in two halves, taking out the pit, and taking off the skin or skinning the the, the beast from inside, and then uh, heating it a bit in the microwave so I can actually mash it up. And I'm going to be mixing in some chipotle chili spice with it. And then when this is cooked. I'm taking the mixture made with these two and spreading it on this after it's cooked. It's similar to what they actually do for al carbon um, in Mexico and it's uh, it's very delicious. Anything arachera for me has always been delicious. You can add cream, some some thick cream people will eat with it on top if it uh, to cover it to uh, mild the spice or even some spicy cheese of your choosing. But it's your choice. Make it up as you will. But this is not an official cooking vlog. I'm going to add it in with um, my uh, Cooking with Yan series only because it's about food. <laughs> so anyways, hope you guys are well and have a nice one.